It gave five stars to a local car dealership. But a quick check of this Google reviewer's profile led the I-Team to an unexpected discovery. Courtney Garris joins us in the studio with more on how fake reviews may be fooling Wisconsin consumers, huh, Courtney? George and Carol, the man in this photo is a convicted felon, now in prison, but someone using his mugshot is writing online reviews. This is Glenn M. Suggs. He has 27 reviews on his Google profile. The most recent posted a week ago about a business in New Jersey. But the man in this photo wasn't actually getting anything repaired. A Milwaukee family learning the fate of a man who killed their daughter more than 30 years ago. Suggs' picture is really a mugshot of a man named Jose Ferreira, sentenced in Milwaukee in March. He's now serving time in a three decade old cold case. While Ferreira is behind bars, the person using his mugshot is posting reviews of businesses across the U.S., some of them here in Wisconsin. And just last month, Glenn M. Suggs left reviews for five different Rustero dealerships, giving all of them five stars for experience, pricing, and service. Consumers aren't going to be able to know who to trust or what to trust. Meet Jason Brown. This California California man stumbled across a few fake Google reviews and is now spending his free time weeding out as many as he can. I'm kind of surprised some of the services that I'm seeing. Um, you know, when you start seeing doctors, optometrists, dentists, you know, that's a, that's a little scarier. Brown reached out to us after discovering what he believes are fake Google reviews for several Wisconsin businesses. Brown says so far he's found more than 500 across the country, like this one posted by J.D. Poole. The profile image is actually of this Cornell University professor who tells us he flagged it with Google, which took down the review, but not the profile. Brown contacted the Federal Trade Commission sending this list of U.S. businesses he claims have fake reviews. My end game is to get Google to finally come forward and start cleaning up this mess. They could easily add more layers of security to their system. But Google says it has systems in place, telling us, quote, we use automated systems to detect for spam and fraud. Its review policy states dishonest reviews may be removed. The more positive reviews out there, the more people are clicking on your site. Christopher Jones is with Sickich, a Brookfield-based computer security firm. He points out good reviews keep businesses front and center in a Google search. As far as tracking down who's really behind these profiles. It's really hard to find these people's identities online. Uh, they, even if you were to trace through their IP address, which would you know, involve a court order. Your best protection, be an informed consumer. Check out individual profiles. Many of the fake Google ones review businesses all over the U.S. or go overboard for one business. In this profile, the user gave five stars to three different JD Byrider dealerships in the same month. Look for gross grammatical errors and don't just rely on one review site. So far, Wisconsin is the only state to respond to Brown about the fake reviews. The FTC handed his complaint about Russ Darrow over to the state's Bureau of Consumer Protection. It has contacted the dealership about the issue. One note here, Russ Darrow owns J.D. Byrider locations in Wisconsin, and the Russ Darrow Group released this statement today. Quote, after further investigation, we have learned that a third-party vendor has recently been posting falsified reviews about our company without our knowledge or approval. Upon learning this, we immediately began the process of having these reviews removed and are terminating our relationship with the vendor. Wow, Courtney, so now how does the FTC or the state of Wisconsin deal with the complaints of these fake reviews? It really depends. In Wisconsin, it's going to fall under the fraudulent representation statute, and on the federal level, the FTC can actually sue companies. So if you want to know how to report a fake review, go to TMJ4.com. All right, thank Very you, Courtney. Interesting. Okay, thank you, Courtney.